why not actually be constructive in helping to better integrate them into oh. the community? Because there are a lot of employers there who say that the Haitian workers are helping fill jobs that they need desperately filled. Wow. So, so she said this in a polite way. Hey, can you get off TikTok? Can you get off Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and do your damn job? Yes, it is me without a hat. Like <laughs> my wife, she 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 kind of made fun of me because she was watching one of my videos and she was like, "Dude, you was always wearing a hat and do bag. Why? Why? Like when you go to work, you're 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 not wearing a hat and do bag. You know, you're dressing all nice. You got your hair all done. Like why are you always wearing a hat and do rag? And it reminded me of um Tim Pool. You know what I'm saying? The guy who's always wearing a beanie and. You know, one day we seen him without his beanie because I think someone was snatching off his head. And it's like, that's scary. And, and I don't want people thinking, you know, when this channel blows up, you know, I'm going to have like three, four million subscribers in like a year. Watch, I bet you. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm bald, which is nothing wrong with being bald. Okay, but I just want people to know I, I got hair. Okay, I got hair and it's fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my forehead ain't that big, but okay. Neither here or there. Okay. Um, JD Vance. Okay. Mr. JD, which sounds like just dumb. Like that's his name. Just dumb Vance is going to be a large reason of why Trump loses. Easy. I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't know why a lot of things when it comes to Trump and Republicans and even Democrats, but some of the moves that these people make, especially when choosing a running mate, uh, a running mate, it matters. Look at Sarah Palin. You know, like your choices when it comes to your running mate matters because they're going to be interviewed and they have to be a good sidekick. You know what I'm saying? They have to be able to to back you up, essentially, you know, repeat what you say in a sense and back you up. They're your wingman for a reason. But JD Vance, if I was trying, I'd be like, bro, hey, be quiet. <laughs> you are better seen, but not her. You need to go over there and chill out because you sound ridiculous and let's let's go ahead and and watch trump like he's he's a master at this he is a politician at his best because politicians we know they're they're going to lie to us we know they're lying to us every chance they get but one thing that makes you a great politician is that you will never admit that you would just look them in the face and be like it is raining and I'm not peeing on your foot. Why they literally peeing on your foot? Like hand pee going down your leg, and they will lie to you. And let's <laughs> let's let's go ahead and watch Trump, who is a master at this. Yeah, sure. I, I think it would be good. JD's doing a great job, don't you think? Yeah. He'll, uh, he'll do very well. JD's going to debate, yeah. Did you denounce the bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio? Uh, I don't know what happened uh, with the uh, bomb threats. I know that it's been taken over by uh, illegal migrants, and that's a terrible thing that happened. Springfield was this beautiful town, and now they're going through hell. It's a sad thing. Not going to happen with me, I can tell you right now. Thank you very much, Thank everyone. You. Thank you very much. It's like, like he's he is given way more information than you and I. You know what I'm saying? He's former president. He has a lot of connections. He knows what's going on in Springfield. He knows the reason. He knows his lies and his rhetoric and just him being persistent with that is causing a lot of people who don't know better. They're just, hey, Donald Trump, he he he's he would lie to me, right? I mean, I voted for him and he said he loves me. Like, he wouldn't be lying about this, right? And I don't want these no. You know what I'm saying? But 
JD, <laughs> just dumb Vance, doesn't understand how to play that game. And, and he thought he was smarter than us in trying to flip that. Like, I lied for your benefit. I, I lied so the truth can really get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put up a lie, and then I, you know, pulled down the veil, and now you see, bro, you sound crazy. We are 51 days from the election, and together with their running mates, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are focusing on the states that will decide the next president, with the race apparently deadlocked after what could be the only Harris-Trump debate. But Donald Trump is also doubling down on a baseless claim that he made at the debate that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are eating people's pets. Local officials and the state's Republican <laughs> governor say there is absolutely no evidence of that claim, and they are warning it is actually hurting their city. Springfield, Ohio, is, is facing it, a fourth day of threats. Isn't it weird that this is actually a new segment? <laughs> Haitians just eating up everybody's pet, like... We don't have anything better. Over the claims that have forced a college, hospitals, and schools to lock down. Meanwhile, Springfield police say they received two calls about Proud Boys marching through the city. Here's how Donald Trump responded to the controversy over Haitians who, I want to note, are in the U.S. legally. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, I guess we Republican Vice that. Presidential nominee J.D. Vance, who represents Ohio in the U.S. Senate. Thank you for being here, sir. Uh, so the mayor of Springfield, Ohio, Rob Rue, said, quote, all these federal politicians that have negatively spun our city, they need to know they're hurting our city. And it was their words that did it. Before Donald Trump talked about eating dogs and cats on a debate stage, it was you, <laughs> Senator, who first elevated this baseless rumor. These are your constituents. So why are you putting them at risk by continuing to spread claims about Haitian immigrants, despite officials in your state saying that there's no evidence and pleading for you to stop? Well, okay. Dana, hold on, hold on. Whoa, I, I know you guys were itching to know what I would say if I was in his position. Now, first off, first off, I wouldn't be in that position. You know what I'm saying? I live my truth, and my truth is my life. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wouldn't have to backpedal on nothing. But if I was in his shoes by just, you know, I would say, hey, I'm human. Uh, the information that I got sourced to uh, was inaccurate. Um, I, I apologize for that. I probably should have vetted that information a little bit more, um, you know, you don't you don't want to say nothing about Donald Trump, you know, because if you say that he's wrong, then you're going to get fired. You're going to get fired. OK, fired. Um, but you could be like, it was my fault. I probably should have looked into it a little bit more. I kind of just jumped out there because, you know, I love pets. I'm a pet owner. And it kind of just, you know, j just shocked me. But now I'm here to say like, hey, you know, we're, we're going to look into it just to make sure that it is false evidence. But let me tell you what's actually going on with uh, cities like Springfield and all over the country when it comes to immigrants disrespecting blah, blah. Then you go into your hateful rhetoric about immigrants and brown people and how they're coming from ish whole countries and just destroying our beautiful country. Like that's when you roll into that. But you want to easily just. Say, hey, I apologize, wrong information, boom, done, kill it, that's it. You don't do this. First of all, what's putting the residents of Springfield at risk, which was a town completely ignored by the American media until Donald Trump and I started surfacing some of these concerns, is that they can't afford housing, they can't afford health care. The schools have been overwhelmed, the hospitals have been overwhelmed, and they're overwhelmed because Kamala Harris allowed 20,000 Haitian migrants to get dropped into a small Ohio town of about 40,000 people, and it's completely overwhelmed the services. Now you ask, why have I talked about some of the things that I've been talking about? Let me First off, I, I tried to look up some information. I still need to figure out if, did he say 20,000 or 200,000? Immigrants overwhelmed the service into a small Ohio town of about 40,000 people and it's completely overwhelmed the services now you have oh. because Kamala Harris allowed 20,000 Haitian oh, migrants 20, to get dropped into a small Ohio town of about 40 
I need to verify if that's true. Like that just seems like it's he's inflating the numbers, but I need to look that out myself. People, and it's completely overwhelmed the services. Now you ask, why have I talked about some of the things that I've been talking about? Let me just say this. Uh, my constituents have brought approximately a dozen separate concerns to me. 10 of them are verifiable and confirmable. And a couple of them I talk about because my constituents are telling me firsthand that they're seeing these things. So I, I have two options, Dana. I could ignore them, which is what the American media has done for years to this community, or I can actually talk about what people are telling me. And of course, many of the things that the media says are completely baseless have since been confirmed. For example, I was told, Dana, that the American me- by the American media that it was baseless that migrants were capturing the geese from the local park pond and eating them. And yet there are 911 calls from well before this ever became a viral sensation of people complaining about that exact thing happening. So my attitude is listen to Okay, my- so I mean, I'm I I own a cat. Okay, I'm not a huge pet person. It is what it is. If you want to own alligators and 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 birds and all that, that's that's your business. But is a geese geeses whatever are those pets because you and donald trump strictly said haitians are stealing people's pets eating people's dogs eating people's cats like now now you're pivoting to geese and it's like i mean that's a whole nother conversation i mean a pointless uh you know a meaningless conversation but like i mean okay you know we can stop that sure but that's not what you said my constituents sometimes they're going to say things that people don't like but they're saying things that people don't like because their town has been overwhelmed and it's my job to try to fight for them and to protect them kamala harris opened the border and now these people are suffering that's what i'm focused on dana senator i have to go through several things that you just said Uh, (laughs) first of all the clark county sheriff and the ohio department of natural resources reviewed 11 months of 911 calls. They only identified two instances of people alleging Haitians were taking geese out of parks. They found zero evidence to substantiate those claims. I, uh, <laughs> but but my but my constituents told me they they but they but they told me they they spoke to me like does does that does that count? I mean, <laughs> uh, also other evidence that you have talked about, even you have retweeted alleged alleged evidence are unsourced social media videos from a different city. Apparently no connection to Haitians. And this is from a conservative activist who offered a five thousand dollar reward for such things. And then going just back to the schools and the hospitals and the and, and so forth being overwhelmed. Nobody is disputing that the, that the town of Springfield, Ohio, needs help. But you're not just a bystander. You're the senator from Ohio. So instead of <laughs> saying things that are, are wrong and actually causing the hospitals, the schools, the government buildings to be evacuated because of bomb threats, because of the cats and dogs uh, thing, why not actually be constructive in helping to better integrate them into the community because there are a lot of employers there who say that the Haitian workers are helping fill jobs that they need desperately filled. Wow. So, so she said this in a polite way, Hey, can you get off TikTok? Can you get off Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it and do your damn job? Like, why are you in the position you in and you complaining? Do something, like she said, to integrate these people into the city, make them constructive citizens, you know, work jobs, uh, give back to the community, pay, you know. But your best thing to do is to <laughs> to spew baseless, factless uh, uh, lies in order to try to shed a light on another issue. Why don't you just say what the issue is and try to change it? 
You're literally in a position to do that. Like literally. Not like, hey, call your local congressman. Um, you know, like, you know, pick up trash around your city. Like, you are literally that guy who can make these changes, but you don't. Oh, sweet God. <laughs> Dana, first of all, let me just respond to, to a couple of things that you said. But I want to start Please. with something you said, which I think is frankly disgusting and is more appropriate for a Democratic propagandist than it is for an American journalist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I missed this the first time. Look, look, look at her. Look at her face. And is more appropriate for a Democratic propagandist than it is for an American journalist. <laughs> oh, what? How? How are you going to flip that like that? Wow. Crazy. But he, he going to say it with his chest. There is nothing that I have said that has led to threats against these hospitals. These <laughs> hospitals, the bomb <laughs> threats and so forth, it's disgusting. The violence is disgusting. We condemn it. We condemn all violence. Senator, and this happened of after you and but President to say, Trump no, no, were, Dana, on no, the, Dana, were on the debate say, stage, said Dana, that no, cats and dogs you were asked, being you, eaten. You asked a question, Dana, and, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. What after we that, said, they were threatened. What we have said is that this town has suffered terribly under the, pro, under the policies of Kamala Harris. Now, you just accused accused me of inciting violence against the community when all that I've done is surface the complaints of my constituents, people who are suffering because of Kamala Harris's policies. Are we not allowed to talk about these problems because some psychopaths are threatening violence? We can condemn the violence on the one hand, but also talk about the terrible consequences of Kamala Harris's open border on the other hand. Now, let me just fact check a couple of other things that you said, Dana, because it's important. You said that all of these migrants are in the country legally. They are in the country through what's called temporary protective status. Right. That is when Kamala Harris waved a magic amnesty wand, <laughs> taking people and giving them legal status. That is not a. That is not to say that they're here. Uh, first off, <laughs> him saying magical wand is just for him to kind of skip over the important parts. And I just read it briefly, but. The people uh, coming from Haiti is is dealing with a lot of sh in their country. And like you said, protective status. They, just like how America is supposed to be doing it, got them out the country because of the stuff that they're dealing with. Now, once again, read about it so you can understand what this, you know, quote unquote magic wand. She wasn't just like, hey. I want to take 20,000 people from Haiti and put them into here. Like, that's that's not how that works. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if anything, he's supposed to be um, kind of, you know, proud of America to to be able to assist people in other countries who's dealing with things um, that is a lot more tragic, you know, um, that I, I don't believe Americans would be ready for. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of weird how he just glossed over. It was like, and Kamala Harris, you know, waved a magic wand and, and got people like, come on, bro. Legally, that is a terrible indictment of her amnesty policies that have further opened the but border not, and further but it's caused not illegal. terrible you might, migration you into might this be, country. You might not agree with the policy, and obviously you don't, which is totally fair and legitimate. There are policy disagreements all the time. But the fact is, it, it, it is the law because uh, no, President Dana, Biden the point and is, Vice Dana, President Harris are, but I, but I don't want to get I don't want to frankly go down uh, uh, this conversation about no, no, about no, policy Dana, because I, I, because I, you, no. you, you, made, you you made a point you don't I I, I agree you don't want to talk about policy no Dana, what I want to talk about, about what I want to talk about instead of about the fact Senator that it was Harris, your distraction Dana, granted amnesty you were the at one who started level. talking about eating dogs at a and mass cats. level. You were the one who Dana, brought this my up. The president the said it to 60 about eating million dog and people. Cats, and I talked about it because you were ignoring this community. My constituents talked about Have it. Have you and been it is to my Springfield? my responsibility to surface their concerns when the American media Have you been to Springfield? It. Dana, I've been to Springfield probably a hundred times in my life. How about I've recently? Taken my children since to you've get heard ice this. cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. Have you heard recently since have, you've, have you've I gotten been in the these last, calls? Have I been in the last four days? No, no I'm I talking haven't about been in the last four days, but I've since talked you've to a lot of these people calls in Springfield, from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. <laughs> Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me 
uh, on on these topics. I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you oh gave them multiple God. choice answers to the questions. Oh that my you... God, he he doesn't want to stay on that subject because he knows he's going to lose that conversation. It doesn't matter. Okay, I, I think I think we're 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 done with hearing his voice. It doesn't matter how you're trying to spin this. He thought it was true or he thought he knew it was a lie, but it will sound good. And people are just going to like not really care. You know, they're just like, hey, Haitians are eating pets in Springfield. Oh, my God. You know, I don't think he knew people were going to actually do their research and look for their selves because one thing I know is when you involve God, <laughs> babies, guns, and then pets, you're going to get people upset. You you mess with people's pets, people are going to be looking. And just like the whole Colorado uh, in the world, which is where I live, um, the whole thing, you know, Venezuelan gangs are taking over uh, Aurora. Like, no. That's that's not happening. And we actually had journalists come here to that apartment complex and found nothing. Nothing. People just chilling. Now, is it a, you know, kind of impoverished area? Of course. So it's going to look a little, you know, run down uh, from from what I read is, you know, it's a slumlord and he's not taking care of the property. And people are just like kind of, you know, up to here with it. So it's like that's once again a baseless lie that was easily disproven so of course jd vance doesn't want to stay on that subject he wants to talk about kamala harris and how she's illegally but legally but it's still illegally sending over uh uh, uh immigrants like that that's the argument you want to have right okay got you but here's what jd vance did say because he said something interesting he said hey what i said couldn't uh, in incited violence no i was just shedding some light i was just trying to do my job and let the american people know what's happening in my springfield you know what i'm saying but oddly enough july 14th <laughs> this guy said today and, and this was after <clears throat> the first uh attempted uh assassination of trump he said on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, today is not just some isolated event. The central premise of the Biden campaign is that President Donald Trump is an authoritarian fascist who must be stopped at all costs. Got you. That rhetoric led directly to President Trump's attempted assassination. So what you're telling me, Mr. J.D. Vance is that words could hype up people. And even if they're not true, people are going to believe it and they're going to feel like they have to take action in their own hands and solve the problem. Is, 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 is that what you're telling me? So like I said, when you start to um, <laughs> talk about people's pets getting eaten by the dozens, by the hundreds, the way that that Donald Trump said it, they're they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats. Like people are gonna look into that, and the people who are not looking into it, they're just gonna believe it because they see you as an ally. They see you as someone that's not going to lie to them. So they're gonna they're gonna take what you're saying as gospel truth, and they're going to take action, even if it's a bomb threat. They they feel like they need to do something. And thank God that's all it was. You know what I'm saying? So once again, guys, we have to be, I mean, I, I don't want to say we have to because people are going to continue to do what they want to do. They want to win elections. So the best way they can do it is the fear monger. And that's exactly the game plan of Republicans from Donald Trump here on out. How can I fear monger people to the polls and if it takes me saying hey these immigrants are eating your pets then damn it they gonna say it but once again if you think i'm lying if you think i'm just full of ish 
You know what I'm saying? If you think that that these Haitians are just taking people's pets, taking people's dogs, <coughs> taking people's birds, their pet alligators, eating all the geeses, and, and I think it's a, a murder when it's a bunch of geeses. Murder, murderers, murders, something like that. If, if you think all that is true and I'm just you know, a, a line democratic shield, like, let me know, let me know down in the comments down below. Don't be shy. And like always, let's have that conversation.